Gang, are y'all ready for this off-season overhaul? <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but we got some players that need to get up out of here ASAP. 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 Y'all already know the box. Let's go get it, gang. Calm down. But at the same time, JJ Arthago Whiteside better not be in an Eagles uniform come this next year. That's all I got to say on that. So ain't no need to go ahead and drag it out anymore. This man is trash. We knew that for the past few years he's been on this team. But come this year, oh yeah, that drew the sand in the line. So it's a wrap. Get this man up out of here. Next on this list, Derek Barnett. Now, Derek Barnett is just not meeting production. Looking at his sack totals this year, I think he only had like two sacks all year. Had about eight penalties this year. The ratio is way off. Hey, this man is causing more harm to the team than good, and he's getting paid a pretty healthy bag this year. So there ain't no point in extending Derek Barnett, and it ain't like we got great defensive end talent. So, yeah, we're going to have to find a replacement, but a replacement is a must. no way we can keep a player that's causing more harm to the team than good. I mean, the undisciplinedness. It's getting out of hand. So, Derek Barnett, hey, maybe a change of scenery will be good for him. And I love his tenaciousness. I love his energy that he brings to the ball. But the man ain't playing with no control. So, let's not even act like he out there doing any kind of good for this team. So, hey, bye-bye, Derek Barnett. I don't expect to see you in no kind of Eagles uniform next year either, my brother. So, hey, on to the next. Y'all already know Ryan Kerrigan. Come on down here, because you wasted about a whole year in Philadelphia also. So I know people are going to say, yeah, he showed up in the playoffs, you know, during our only playoff game. That's the only time I even heard Ryan Kerrigan's name. All season. That is trash. He can also go. I've never been a fan of doing these in-division rival trades with players, because as we can see, every time we get a player from a rival team, <laughs> They end up looking like all season. So Ryan Kerrigan, hey, yeah, you robbed us this year. You got your bag, but I think the ride is over, brother. Definitely wish you well on your retirement, but this rodeo is over, Ryan Kerrigan. Next on this list, of course, is Jalen Rager. Now, let's keep it a full bean gang. He's not going nowhere come next year. And that's going to be on the reasons of the GM, and I'm sure the coach is probably going to say something to try to bring this man back. <laughs> But hey, we already see it 
out, gang. This man ain't got no hands. He's looking like a Nelson Aguilar 2.0, straight alligator arms out there, and I'm not feeling it. So, unless this man's working on his hands in the offseason and his route running, hey, come preseason, I don't expect to see him on this team too long, especially if he ain't giving us no production in the preseason. So, for whatever purposes, I think he's going to be on this team next year, just, just only because he went. I think he's in his third year this year, so the team's going to give him a chance, just like they did with J.J., but, hey, you ask me, I'm cutting bait right now. Again, I don't see the talent in this man. I don't see him out here connecting punts. None of that. This man needs to be on another team also, getting a change of scenery. So, with that being said, more than likely he's going to be on the team. But I definitely wouldn't mind Jalen Rager getting up off this team. That's where I'm at with now, Some of the obvious players that should be going up out here come this offseason, we also got some tough bridges to cross also. Because... Got some legends that we might have to consider either trading, doing something, because the decline is there. First on this list, Fletcher Cox. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This man's been getting paid a lot of money. And unfortunately, hey, Father Time, you call it what you want to call it. But we've been seeing the, the decline in Fletcher Cox. Now, with saying that, we've been seeing Javon Hargrave step up. We've been seeing the likes of our young guys, Milton, Milton Williams doing his thing. But we cannot deny the fact that Fletcher Cox is declining. All means, I'm not advocating for this team to just get rid of Fletcher Cox for nothing. But at the same time, I'm a realist. And I know, hey, look, we're watching the decline of a great player. And if a time's to pull the trigger to trade the man, it's probably now. So, listen, as much as that's going to hurt, hey, keep that on the table. I wouldn't be shocked if it happened. Next so. up on this list. Hey, listen, and we might not trade him either because I think he's going to be on his final year this coming year. But Miles Sanders. Oh, yeah, Booby, come on down because the biggest question mark with you has been your injury concern and your health. The best ability is availability, and we ain't seen that from Miles Sanders. We've also seen this team put up pretty close to historic numbers on the Russian side during your absence. So, with that being said, Miles Sanders is looking like he might be expendable, and I wouldn't be shocked if this team finds a trade, some kind of trade value for this Don't team. get me wrong, because just like Fletcher, I believe Miles Sanders also adds value to this team. But I would not be shocked if this team starts looking for trade partners, hey, because this team can be successful with plugging in different running backs. So, we're going to have to see how it all rocks again. Regardless, the Eagles should be busy during this offseason with having a lot of cap space, and hey, listen, a lot of draft capital. Oh, I expect my team to get straight up busy. So whether we fill holes in free agency or fill it through the draft, one thing is a fact, this team should be getting better. So again, y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. Hey, listen, is Notion way off on the players that I want up out of here? Maybe I'm tripping on some of them trade talks. I know what I saw, gang. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comments below. Y'all have yourselves a safe and fantastic Eagles day. It's always fly, Eagles, fly. And until next time, y'all know what it is. Gonna keep the notion.